Hello, loved ones. Welcome. This is John Yaman, YouTube channel. Why not? Grandma Jamaica. Let's go. So this is all. This is definitely how the um the wharf was. And um this place was opened on the 19th of April. Officially opened. Of course, the Minister of Tourism and um and the Prime Minister himself and others as well. Loved ones, is this the Hampton Wharf that was constructed during World War One? That's 1914 to 1918. Let us know. All right. Drop it right there in the comment. It was built so the exploitation of sugar could continue. Is this it? Let me know. Talk to me. Talk to me. This present entity is one of five, though. The other resorts town will get theirs shortly. Well, sometime in the future. Artisan Village is a very good idea. Very good. So we're at the Artisan Village in Falmouth. Let's go check out the entertainment. Let's check out that section of it. So we're going around to where we can find the director of entertainment, you know, speak with her. Okay, loved one. So here I am meeting the director of entertainment. So let us get some information together having to do with this place in relation to entertainment. So what can you tell us, please? All right. Hi, everybody. What I can tell you about the entertainment here at the Artisan Village Falmouth is that throughout the entire day, you have different performances curated for the space, but they're also geared towards the 18th century characters that once walked the space of Jamaica, specifically Falmouth. So we have William Naval, we have John Tharp, we have Leonard Parkinson, all specific to Falmouth. And if you scan the QR code that I'm sure um, she's going to show you guys, the digital board, if you scan the QR code on the digital board, what happens is it brings up the live person that's on the board, and they tell you a little bit about themselves. So the entertainment generally covers the opening piece, which the characters are introduced to you and give you a little pizzazz about what's to come next. And then throughout the day, you have pieces like the Field Gang Slaves, where they'll express themselves about how they're the ones shopping the sugar cane to make sure that Massa had all that they needed in terms of sugar, <laughs> and so on and so forth. So that's really the excitement of the day. And of course, we end the day with the finale where all the characters come together again with an exciting piece. Okay. Oh, very, very interesting indeed. Uh -huh. Let's see how I am going to deal with the curical aspect of it <laughs> all right, no problem. so that's about it right no, yeah all right thank you very no much problem. and um you take care have a great today well. all right so camera is shy and that's no problem all right we just want to make sure that we get the information having to do with this place there's a gentleman has no problem walking around and um giving you some information as well so love it yeah, some of these shops are not yet occupied. It's still work in progress. You know. The village is this. still under construction as you speak. It's the place is yard. really, yes. It's a replica oh, they've got the of music. the old That's town. Nice. This is actually a replica of the old town. Right. So you see yes. you have the church over there. That's it. Just as it was in those days. And then you have the courthouse over oh, this side. as you look at it, you can yes. see that, yes, yes, this is a courthouse. But it looks pretty much like the one out front. True. Oh, okay. And these billboards mean a lot, you know. Yes, this I is know. This the history and you have the bar, you have the code here. So if I'm wondering if I take a picture of the code, if, if uh, my viewers will be able to... Let me see something. I don't know. Them can scan these. I said I'm wondering if when I do this... When I do this, they should be able to uh, to scan. Yes, what they can probably That's what do I'm is, thinking. is do a photo shot, a photo shot of it. Right, right, right. Screenshot and yeah, and then I it think can so. Probably I think so. That's how I'm gonna incorporate them. 
Who is this gentleman? Um, he's yet to he's be identified. Ah. He's yet to be identified. I don't know why I think he's probably the governor. The one, uh, William Trelawney. It's a possibility. Because why wouldn't he be here and and the town and the parish is named after, after him. him? Yes. Because so, the town, Falmouth, that is from his birthplace. True. And and then the, the um, William Trelawney surname. True. The name of the parish. But we shouldn't so overlook just... Dutty Bookman because you know the rich history of Dutty Bookman, right? No, um, no. Or your no. viewers know the rich history of Dutty Bookman? Uh, possibly some persons would. I have some uh, well, serious historian on this true, well, platform. Dutty, well, Dutty but Bookman was actually a Jamaican uh -huh. who went over to Haiti and you know about the Asian Revolution. Uh -huh. So he was the one that sparked the Asian Revolution. Dutty Bookman. <laughs> I can do further research. I want to say, boy, I would have had to be a Jamaican eh, to go there and do that. Sure. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, I tell you. All right, I'm going to do this as well and hope that they can screen. Sure. Shot. This is Lady Nugent. All right. Let me show and feel picture. free to follow us on Instagram, Artisan Village. You can follow us there for more information as well. I hope I'm getting this one because of this sun. I am not seen. Okay. Yes. Right there. Screenshot loved right. ones. Then use your index finger and your thumb to open up the, the QR, the code, and then you, you can scan. I did that and it worked. So yes, it will work for you as well. And then these, I know about this lady. Where is it? No, wait. I can't even see. William Mackenzie Webb. William Webb. Reverend. Oh. And if you're interested, more information, you do the, the screenshot and see how best that will work. True. Where is Elizabeth? This is Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Now she she um she she owns the great house. Okay. And where is the great house? The one out up here, here in from um okay. what's the name of it? Greenwood Great House. Alright, let me put this right here. Uh -huh. She's somewhat associated with that. Okay. It's her cousin that owned the house, Richard. Richard Barrett. Yes. Um, that was then, not now, you know. Richard Barrett. But there are quite a few. Leonard. Any of these Barrett. that um, my loved ones are interested in, just do the screenshot and see how. So were there a real mermaid in Jamaica? I keep hearing, listen. Here it is. Man, but th that place in, in Montego Bay. All right. That place in Montego Bay. The creek, the dome. See. Oh, I don't know. I learned that when the water, when, when, when it's flooding, it's because the mermaid comes up and something, something, something. But I cannot find anyone to give me the information okay. that I got in. 2018, I am not getting it. Leonard Parkinson. Probably was a maroon. I don't know, it looks very strong though. Very strong guy. Let me see how many of them are left. This one over here. Actor boy. I'm interested in what he does. I, I don't know of any information. And some of these individuals, but can you imagine I try this and it doesn't work? <laughs> but how can it not work? That is a scan, right? Right. A scan so it should scan. work. True. And we did not do Edward. Uh -huh. Oh, you can't pass the light. Yeah. Okay. It's not live. Needles. What about that? Well, we yet to find out. So much history of this place, man. 
I tell you, on this side, all right, it's Edward, we're done. We did William Nib. We did William Nib, right? Huh? Did we do? No, we did a web. Oh, yeah, no, we didn't do William Nib. We did a web. No, we're going William to do Nib. Ah, this is Edward. Oh, this more. All right, see. Giving you the opportunity if you have heard a name or if you're into history and you're interested in getting more information, in getting information, not more, getting information on these persons. And if I don't get the entire face and all that is because what I'm seeing actually is myself because of the sun. So my apologies. William Neighbor, Kettering Baptist Church, man, 1844. All right, there we go. Yeah, the Duncan's area, town close by here. And then um, William, the Memorial High School at UCM Bolt attended his alma mater. So we have perused the entertainment area. And I know for certain that the curl code that they work so all will definitely be well thanks for sticking around and give the video a thumbs up all right the beauty of the place and there's a parking lot that is adjacent to it so lovely place indeed and juicy beef is right across the road. Juicy beef patties. We access here from the shipport and juicy beef side. So ladies and gentlemen, here is Joan. Why not grandma saying, I will definitely see you. And as usual, be good. And if you can't, you know, be extremely careful. All right, you take care and bye-bye. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget and subscribe if you have not yet done so. All right.